Hey, Michael Newrock here. I'm uh, considering taking a trade. It's a buy. It's on the dollar cat. It's on the four hour. Just going to put this alert to the side. And you can see that it's been rolling along up, down, up, down, up. Now we're in an overall upward direction. Five out of the six high time frame indicators are pointing up. So this is very good. I'm a little cautious about it because, uh, you know, it is already at a, at a pretty high point, but the fast moving average has crossed the slow moving average nice and strong. The trend followers just turned green and the RSI and the MACD above where they should be. The stochastic has already had a crossover as well. So all I need to do is click yes. I'll um, just wait for the trade to be executed. There it is. Sometimes it, it's instant. Sometimes it takes a second or two depending on the market. Other times it'll take even longer because it is by the tick. Uh, so here we are on the daily chart. You can see that we've had a recent new upward trend forming on the daily and there's plenty of room here for pips to be had. Uh, even though it's high uh, on the four hour time frame, we'll just get back to that now, it's uh, looking like it has huge potential on the daily. So the question is, is it going to bust through those recent highs? Now I've got just over 70 pips on my um, on my stop but you can see here to a key high 200 pips 400 pips to the ultimate key high so uh, you know i'm uh i'm ready and willing to be able to take this risk of course when you take any trade there's always risk involved it's just inherent to trading uh, but you know the fundamentals are there as far as the higher time frames pointing towards an upward move. So uh, I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to pause the video right now, come back as soon as I have an update. Okay, I'm back and uh, we're on the dollar CAD and the, the market gods were on my side this time. $2,270 in the black. Uh, we started here, of course. We did bust through those recent highs. You know, it was an overall upward trend. Uh, and so you can see here, I'm safe as far as the trade goes. We've reached just over 120 pips and uh, currently my stop loss has been moved to around 90 pips on my first position and around 70 pips on my second position. So they are really quite nice and tight. I'm comfortable with, uh, uh, with my trade management at this stage. Now the next target is at 150 pips. So let's take a look at that. I'll just squeeze it down a little bit and uh, what do we got? 150 pips is only, you know, like 25, 30 pips away from its current market price. So uh, I'm going to leave it alone. Now my stops are in place. I'm a winner either way now. Um, on the daily chart, you can see that it's progressed and we had a huge daily move, um, but there's still, what, about 80 pips to the next uh, major high 70 80 pips and about 280 pips to the ultimate key recent high uh, on the daily time frame so uh, there's not really much more I can do here just under 2300 and profit right now I could close right now uh, or I could hang in and uh, see which way this trade goes either way I'm a winner because of course I have my trades uh, locked in with profits so uh, at this stage, I'm uh, I'm a happy guy in a win-win situation, which is always good to be in when you're trading. So I'm going to pause the video right now, come back as soon as I have another update. Alrighty, so trade is progressing nicely, about 2,470 bucks to shy of. It's now reached 140 pips, or 139, 140 pips, currently sitting on about 128 pips uh in in the black i've got my stops at the same point at 90 pips and at 70 pips so uh you know i'm not touching those at the moment but uh you know it's it's getting high it looks really high up there on the chart um i wouldn't be totally surprised if, if there was some kind of correction and i i don't quite make that uh, 150 pips which is of course my second target of where my second prof lock, profit locking occurs so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get into the settings and I'm going to change the second move to 130, second stop loss to 30, which means I'll, I'll lock in 100 pips in that trade and, and adjust my 
third move to 175 pips. So same on my second position, 130 pips for my second target. Um, on the second stop loss, I, th I think I'll leave that alone and 175 pips the same on my third move or third target uh, for my second position, which is when, of course, the trailing um, is activated. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, we're, we're looking good. You can see here that the uh, new trade management settings have, have taken place. So I'm only a couple of pips away from that, uh, plus the spread, of course, in this trade. And... Uh, we're looking at, so yeah, about 100, same, 128. It's, you know, it's retraced a tiny little bit. It hasn't really been doing anything. So I'm going to hang in there and hopefully get back really quickly with another update. All right, uh, 2,570 bucks thereabouts. And good news is my second target has been hit. So you can see here my stops have been moved. And uh, so we're currently locked in. Well, we've got about 135 pips in profit right now. So to achieve that 130 pip second target, locked in the um, the uh, the profits. You can see here in the daily, you know, still about what is it? About 60, 70 pips. Yeah, about 70 pips to the to the recent high on the daily chart. Of course, a couple of hundred pips more to the uh, to the ultimate key high. And you can see that. I need to get to 175 pips before trailing is activated. Could I set it now? Yeah, I could. I could just go back into settings. But for right now, I'm quite happy with that. So 100 pips locked in on my first trade, 80 pips locked in on my second pips on my second trade. So 10 pips is 10 pips. You know, I've locked in, I squirreled away some more pips, which is going to translate into more money. Um, when these trades ultimately... Uh, pass on you know when they get closed out the equity from these trades will be converted into capital into my account so that's the beauty of uh, of a, a trades closing uh, it, it's going to happen it always happens it's just a matter of how long can you hold on um, but don't fear being closed out you're always going to make a little less than your ultimate but it's you know no one knows uh, in heights uh, no one knows when the um, when the the move is going to ultimately finish so the best that we can do as trend profiteers is to hang on ride that trade ride that trend for as long as possible and uh, i'll get back as soon as i have another update cheers hey guys just um just got back to check my trade and three thousand two hundred and uh uh 50 bucks thereabouts um going great and let's take a look 169 pips, 168 pips uh, in profit right now. Of course, my target three is 170 pips. I mean, this is just a couple of pips off and uh, I've got my stops locked in. I've got pips and profits locked in, but you know, it's going to come down quite a bit if uh, we experience a, a retracement. I am getting a little nervous at this point because it's kind of um, done better than I expected considering the chart was already, you know, the price was really way up on that chart, um, you know, despite it being in a daily trend and so forth. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, third targets from 170 to 165. Little trick here, because you can see here it's coming to come into play. Next time I get a tick to the upside, um, my, my stops will move. Okay, so we're currently at 169 pips, which is, exceeds the 165 pip. Uh, third target that you know triggers activates the uh, try and there it is okay we've got a move uh, to the upside on that position so uh, we are now locked in that's nice uh, on that first position it, it's it, the good thing is I've got it tight on the first position more liberal on the second position why well if it does correct I'm going to just bank some money straight into my account and uh, you know my second position has still got 80 pips locked in right so it's i'm still playing uh for the big move for the long play um on the daily uh charts while i'm covering you know covering uh my 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 butt uh with uh, with the first position to make sure that uh, i extract uh, almost the the maximum amount of pips 
uh, and around 1600 bucks. It'll be a little less than that probably, but around that uh, on my first position. So yeah, I'm really excited with this trade. You don't get multi-thousand dollar trades uh, all the time. Okay, that's obviously the uh, the, the the goal, uh, the whole the whole intent. When you get into a trade, you are uh, well as a profiteer. I, I train, I teach that you know that that is the game here. You want to get as much from your winnings as you can. So when you're in a winning trade, you want to maximize your returns okay it makes sense uh because you gotta squirrel away because you know there'll be lots of times where you have losing trades uh so anyway i'm gonna pause the video right now come back as soon as i have another update cheers hey i'm back and uh take a look at this four thousand uh 130 bucks thereabouts and uh my stops have moved along with the my first position with the fast moving average, my second position, um, it's moved in line with the PSA or parabolic SAR. Um, now there's five different training methodologies that you can use. I've chosen these two. You can customize it completely. But uh, anyway, the trade, the trade's looking really good. On the daily time frame, you can see that it's actually surpassed that recent high that I was aiming for. Um, there's still a bit of move, still, still a, a bit of, room to move to that ultimate high you know i've been worried about this for the uh for the last couple of updates but it just keeps on going higher now ultimately it's probably going to at some time uh correct to the downside but i've got my profits locked in okay so my first and second position are locked in I'm playing this trade for both converting uh, as much cash as I can into capital in my first position and being a bit more liberal with my second position because, you know, at that stage, it's free money. I'm playing with the market's money. So that's always a good thing. If you can place yourself in that position, uh, that is exactly what you should be doing. So I'm going to pause this video again and uh, see how long, you know, we've got in this trade. Uh, I'll be back as soon as i have an update cheers hey um 1924 dollars is where my first position ended or closed i'm just going to put it on the chart you can see here where it was uh entered and uh, right up here is where it was closed out almost a maximum about 195 pips uh all in all and i've got my second position still open at uh, just on 1900 dollars. it's following the trade via the parabolic SAR. So even if it consolidates now, my stop is going to get tighter and tighter. Hopefully we're going to see another swing upward and uh, that's going to make this trade even better. But yeah, you never know. I, my, my trend management is now in play. There's not a lot I can do. I mean, I can choose to take out the second position, cash it out now for, you know, 1900 bucks and the total is just shy of 4,000 between two trades. But Take a look, you know, on the daily charts, you can still see that there is room uh, for this trade to go 200, just just or just shy of 220 pips. So that is what I'm targeting. And, uh, you know, at this stage, I'm in a win win situation. Uh, I'm just going to accept what the market gives me. We're still in an upward direction of four out of the six high time frame indicators pointing up. Uh, all my other indicators are telling me this pair is still going up, but at this stage, you know, it's uh, it's been a good ride. Uh, so uh, I'll get back as soon as I have another another update. See how we go. Okay, both my positions have been closed. Uh, there was a lot of uh, trader tension in this trade, kind of like sexual tension. But uh, I, you know, I always knew that the end was coming. But uh, anyway, uh, first position there, one thousand nine hundred and twenty-four bucks. My second position uh slightly less one thousand eight hundred and fifty five dollars but together uh two nine two three seven th about three seven eighty thereabouts uh three thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars that's a really good trade in anybody's books um about an average of 190 pips each between those two positions it didn't go up uh, any further <laughs> you know, what can I say? It was a great ride. I'm going to take a look at this trade uh, in, a, in a couple of hours or so, uh, maybe half a day, maybe a day. Let's just see how 
far this correction goes and then I'll be back in. Um, but look, I look forward to, you know, helping you on your journey as a trader, helping you take that next step to the next level as a consistently successful and profitable trader. I'm looking forward to sharing uh, all the resources that we have, all the training that I've put together, uh, the software, of course, uh, the all important software in this day and age of uh, artificial intelligence and computer technology. You really need uh, you know, these kind of resources to play on the on a level playing field, you know, let's face it. Uh, our community of like-minded traders, uh, come join us and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the inside. So until then, good trading, live well, and I'll see you soon.